When this film was starting, when we were editing and when we finished it, one of the main goals for it was to be seen as with as many people as possible. So every time it gets a wider audience, uh, it makes me um, happy and I feel that the mission that we took on ourselves is being fulfilled. At the point uh, when we were leaving, uh, we were already claimed as uh, information terrorists by uh, Russian officials. And we know now that uh, a Lithuanian filmmaker that was at the same time with us in Mariupol, and he also tried to escape the city and he was just executed on the checkpoint. So that, is, that gives me an insight what could happen to us when, if we were caught. This is the first time I saw the, the Russian sign of war. We were lucky enough uh, to, to be in this very short period of time when it was still chaos at the checkpoints. And we were lucky enough that there were people who risked uh, their lives to, to help us to get these images and ourselves out. We left Mariupol and I kept working on the front lines. I came back to my hometown, I'm from Kharkiv, and I, I covered it for months and months and months for, for AP News. And uh, it, was, uh, it was very hard to do because you can actually see people being killed in front of your house where you grew up. One day I came to a house where I lived as a student and there were three people killed by, by a Russian shell just in front of the entrance. Uh, my school got bombed. So all that, all that makes it very personal uh, and at the same time uh, gives you the energy to, to keep working, to keep filming.